Hey everybody, in this video we are going to discuss downloading, installing Lightburn. Not only are we going to discuss how to get that onto your computer, we're also going to discuss the different options like for Windows and for Mac, and also connecting. Now some of these processes are a little bit more difficult, so we'll veer off in a couple of directions and maybe even a couple different videos. But for this video, downloading, installing, making sure we have the correct drivers, and then connecting via USB um, just to get you started and communicating with the machine. So let's start here. And as you can see, uh, Brian Bell was so kind to uh, video record this for me because I don't have a PC. So I wanted to show you what it looks like on a PC. And then once we uh, get into communicating with the machine, then we'll go into my Mac and it's relatively the same. So the first thing you're going to do is download the trial. And of course, uh, you know, pick which computer you have. So Windows for Windows and Mac OS for, for Apple and so on. Download it just like you would any other app uh, application and then click on the link that's downloaded and then let it install. Go through all of these processes that you have, uh, the confirmations that you have from your system. I'm sure there's some security protocols and what have you to allow it to happen. So we're going to install Lightburn after clicking on the download. And once this is done, I'm gonna pause it here. <clears throat> This is where we're going to install the driver, and this is very important. It's a crucial step. Do not miss it. We need to install the FTDI driver so that the computer can talk to our laser. So on Windows, this pops up. On, on Mac, it's a different story altogether. Uh, it either will download with it, or we actually have a link in our knowledge base for the latest, greatest FTDI driver for Macs that help it communicate via USB. So make sure we check this off so that that gets installed. Otherwise, you will not be able to communicate. Finish. And then once we finish, that means that Lightburn's installed, but it's going to pop up with the FTDI drivers now and install them right after. Just, again, accept all of the protocols that allow it to install that and then make sure that it is ready to use. And after this, we can open Lightburn and get going and talking to the, uh, the laser itself. So we'll pick back up in the next clip. So once we have once you have Lightburn installed, we're going to go down to our laser window and mine's going to look a little bit different because I already have a few lasers installed. But what you're going to do is you're going to go into devices and we can do find my laser or we can create manually. But with the thund Thunder Machine, uh, each model, each specific model and each specific machine is going to come with its own set of parameters that you can download right off of the USB, which makes it super easy. So what we're going to want to do is click on import, and then you're going to look for the thumb drive that came with the machine. And in this case, we are going to load the Nova 24 uh, USB version, and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click open. And once we have that installed, everything should be correct. Uh, you should be able to run this via USB, but we are going to want to uh, take a look at some of the settings and make sure everything transferred over. And for this, uh, it's a good idea to have your gold card ready so you can check and correlate the gold card to what was imported with the, um, with the USB drive. So I'm gonna click OK. And since you will only have typically one, you may not have to do uh, a selection here, but I'm going to go down um, in my devices and I'm going to select the Nova 24. And now I can see that it is selected. 
and I'm going to go up to my wrench and screwdriver settings. And if you ever work with tech support, you'll hear us reference, go to your set your gear settings, go to your wrench and screwdriver settings, and that's where they are. They're right up here. I'm going to click on that one. And if we correlate our working size, our uh, offsets, the fact that we have disabled the start button, um, these have all imported correctly and we are now ready to communicate with the machine. Uh, we are looking for those things plus a connected status here, like if uh, right now my, my Thunder 63 is on and running and you can see that we have a ready status and that means I can send files over to the laser. Uh, doing so, I would just be selecting the objects that I want to send over because I have cut selected objects, use selected origin, and we can go over that in a different video. But just to show you real quick, you can click send. It's going to send it over as whatever we name the file. Click OK. And it is now on the machine, and I can go over to the machine and start it. And that's how we um, mate our our USB, our computer, and our machine all together so that they are communicating correctly. Hope this got you started and look forward to seeing you on the next video where we show you how to make your first project.